Hi guys, welcome to Unison's weekly fundamental analysis. So first of all, as usual, we look into the dollar. All right, the U.S. economic data performs poorly. Okay, so what is it about? So the U.S. retail sales fell for the third consecutive month in December last year. New measures introduced to slow the spread of the COVID-19 caused job losses. This further proves that the pace of economic recovery in the gradual breakthrough at the end of 2020 has been greatly reduced. Next, the dollar background is still biased. However, many analysts expect that with the introduction of stimulus measures and the advancement of vaccination efforts, the global economic outlook will improve. So, the longer term outlook for the US dollar still might remain weak. And then the direct how penny of foreign exchange market strategies at Mitsubishi UFJ Financial predicted in a report to clients. Although the US dollar may strengthen further in the short term, the background of the US dollar is still a substitute. Next, we'll look into the euro. So, the euro bank's ultra loose raises more and more doubts. Suppressed by the surge in the US dollar, the, U the euro closed down nearly 1.2% against the US dollar this week, hitting a new low of 1.2076 since 10 of December last year. However, since the second half of 2020, the euro has risen by more than 7.5% and the Euro European Central Bank's ultra loose monetary policy is causing more and more doubts. The minutes released by the European Central Bank show that at a final 12 month policy meeting in Europe, European policymakers slightly increased the emergency anti epidemic bond purchase program last month. The chief economist Lien asked the bank to borrow more funds from the European budget and negative interest rates to improve the Eurozone through the COVID-19 pandemic, but was replaced by other policy makers. In addition, the European Central Bank is increasingly skeptical about certain aspects, aspects of excessive easing policy at high-level meetings. But the start of 2021 is more positive than some people think. Some uncertainties have been cleared, such as Brexit, the US election, vaccine approval, etc. It is expected that lockdown measures will be taken before the end of the first season. So lastly, we'll look into the, the pound. As the uncertainty surrounding the Brexit agreement has largely dissipated, analysts are increasingly concerned about the British economy and prospects. The number of new COVID-19 cases in the UK is still increasing and the lockdown is gradually re implemented. The current British economy seems likely to return to recession. The economy is expected to shrink in the fourth quarter of 2020 and the first quarter of 2021. Furthermore, the UK chief medical advisor said this week that we are in the worst period of the UK epidemic. And unless we take major actions in the future, the UK health healthcare system will face a major crisis. We really need to redou redouble our efforts to prevent the spread of the virus from person to person. But Bailey, the go governor of the Bank of England, said this week that cutting interest rates to negative interest rates would cause many, many problems. And this move would cause the bankers. Investors expect the UK to implement negative interest rates first in May. So next will be the forex calendar for next week. So for traders, 
will be trading. So please set your stop loss as there will be more fluctuate whenever there's a news. Alright, so that's all for today. Thanks for watching.